Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Fatima. If you're new here, in today's video, we're going to be filming a morning shower routine. So the first thing that I do when I get up, unfortunately, is get on my phone. It's a bad habit I'm trying to break, but I usually check my emails and my messages just to see what's going on as soon as I wake up. And then at that point, I will get out of bed. I'm starting my morning off by making myself a quick and easy breakfast. Today we're going in with chai tea. If you guys don't already know, chai tea is very similar to pumpkin spice tea. They share similar spices and honestly they do taste pretty similar, but I'm more so a chai girl rather than a pumpkin spice girl. So that's what we're doing for today. I'm going in with almond milk inside of my tea as well. And then for food, I just made myself some scrambled eggs, something quick and easy like I said with some toast and then I took my breakfast to the couch this was a very slow morning so I was taking everything super slow um, I watched YouTube videos while eating my breakfast it's giving off soft life babe <laughs> today so yeah by the way you guys isn't this lounge set so cute i literally got it like the day before from ardeen's for under 30 dollars. i'll link it down below for you guys but like isn't that a steal and it's so cute okay so now let's get into this hygiene routine so the first thing that i'm gonna do is set the vibes with this candle this is a pumpkin spice candle so it's really giving off fall vibes and then i'm gonna start off by brushing my teeth i'm using this crest 3d white um, whitening toothpaste this toothpaste is my go-to I feel like it keeps my teeth mostly white and then for mouthwash I'm going in with my fave of all time a fair breath mouthwash it keeps your mouth literally smelling good all day so it's my fave and then I'm just gonna gargle that and spit it out so I had just gotten my silk press in I think two days prior to me filming this video so it was so important for me to like not get any moisture on my hair. So I started off by wrapping my hair you guys normally like I knew that wrapping my hair was like something I had to do but I usually I would just completely avoid it because I was so bad at wrapping my hair but using a wig cap to wrap your hair completely life changing. I'm still not that good at it but like. It makes it so much easier anyways i like to wrap my hair before i get in the shower i don't know i just feel like it's the best way to like protect my hair and then i'm normally supposed to do that and go in with a shower cap on top but you guys i completely forgot my shower cap so i just had a bonnet i was just praying for the best at this point point. and then now it's time for us to actually get into the shower I start off by rinsing myself off and then I go in with my first soap. This is sort of a pre-wash but only in certain areas. So I go in with my Dr. Bronner soap in my underarms, my girl down there, so my front side and my back side. I love using Dr. Bronner's because it just gives you like that squeaky clean feel which I feel like is really important especially in those areas. But also this soap is an alternative to the peppermint Dr. Bronner's. I know some of you guys were sort of freaking out <laughs> that I was using this in my lady parts. Honestly, I personally like the very cooling feeling that it gives me but if you're scared of using menthol near your lady parts which is completely understandable i feel like you can go for either this one so the tea tree dr bronner's or the lavender dr bronner's to wash my face i'm going in with this cleanser from costa brazil i was actually gifted some items from them this is one of them i have recently started using this cleanser it's just very gentle um which is why i like it. so i'm just washing my face then rinsing it off so next up we're going in with body wash. I'm using this Olay body wash which is a sugar and cocoa butter scent. I like this one specifically because it's a very warm and sweet scent. This body wash also lathers up really nicely which is really nice. So I'm using an exfoliating net to kind of get this all over my body. If you guys watch my videos and you guys know that usually my go-to is exfoliating gloves but because this body wash also has some exfoliating beads in it they're not very exfoliating at all but it does have some very small exfoliating beads 
um, just to balance things out I'm using the net instead because the gloves are usually a little bit more abrasive I got this on Amazon I believe so I will link the net down below for you guys if you guys are interested So after I rinse my body wash off, I'm going to go in with my body scrub. This one is also from Costa Brazil. So this smells exactly like coffee beans. This is definitely like a coffee scrub, but it smells so strongly of coffee. I like the fact that this scrub almost like soaps up, it sort of lathers up a little bit. I personally like when body scrubs lather up a bit. So after getting that all over my body, this honestly was very exfoliating. I felt very soft and smooth after using this body scrub. So once I got that all over my body, we're rinsing that off once again. And then for my last shower routine step, we're going in with this hair removal cream from Nair. I just purchased this. This is the first time that I'm using this on camera for you guys. It's like a roll-on hair removal cream. So it's really, really cool. I saw this in the store and I was like, wait, I really want to try this on. As you guys can see, it has like the shape of like a deodorant bottle. So you turn the thing at the back and then the cream just comes out. So I actually love this idea because I personally hate getting the hair removal cream on my fingers. I feel like it just gets so messy. So this was such a clean way of like applying the cream. The cream worked really well, but I actually finished out the complete bottle on just my underarms and my two legs. And I wasn't even able to get like my full two legs. The back of my thighs, I mean, I don't grow a lot of hair there, but like I wasn't able to get cream on that area as well. So I love this idea so much, but I don't think I would get it again just because there's not a lot in the bottle. But still, this was such an easy hair removal process. I forgot how easy Nair was. Like you just apply it on. I think I left it on for like seven minutes for my underarms and legs. And then I rinsed it off and it was just so easy and quick. I just completely forgot about Nair being an option for hair removal. So this just reminded me. Okay, so now for our post shower care, I'm going in with a body oil. This one is from Osea. My new thing is going in with a body oil first when I'm damp. So preferably do this as soon as you get out the shower, go in with your body oil all over and then go in with your body lotion. This one's from Vaseline. I love it because it smells so good and it's so affordable. So go in with a pair like that and you're gonna be moisturized all day like it's no joke i do this every morning and it's life-changing okay so now time to remove this hair wrap situation i have going on unfortunately part of my hair got poofy i mean it's kind of to be expected because i didn't have my shower cap on unfortunately but anyways it's no biggie so i'm going in with this little headband this cute little headband situation that i have and then i'm going in with some lip gloss because my lips just felt so dry at this point and then i'm gonna go in and tweeze my brows my brows were starting to get a little bushy the hair under like my immediate brow was starting to grow so i decided to go in and tweeze them also i do tweeze the tops of my brows because my brows grow in a weird almost rectangular <laughs> way so i try to tweeze the top of it just so that it's more rounded instead of like a boxy brow so yeah i did that for both brows i like to do this before i put any product on so that my face is like fresh my pores are still kind of open from the steam from the shower and so now let's go into skincare so i have combination skin a sometimes oily t-zone and the rest is pretty normal but i do deal with hyperpigmentation regularly especially on my period i usually always get a bump or pimple that pops up which leaves a mark way after the pimple is gone so because of this it's so important for me to include vitamin c into my routine to brighten and help out with my hyperpigmentation so i've been using this good all serum as my source of vitamin and see lately thank you so good all for sponsoring today's video i've seen good reviews from different skincare youtubers so i was so excited to try good all out for myself the serum is a sort of jelly texture it's very hydrating and i love how the ingredients in this are high quality and straight to the point it's made up of 70 percent organic green tangerine extract which is sustainably sourced from the farm and is a natural source of vitamin c good all makes sure to produce the healthiest ingredients specifically for this serum and it also contains four percent niacinamide you guys know i usually incorporate a niacinamide serum into my routine so the fact that this is already included in the serum is great because i have this one product that is so 
sort of an all-in-one for me. So I've been incorporating it into my morning and night skincare routines because it's very gentle and on top of helping fade my marks, it actually also prevents future spots on my face thanks to the new formulation of the serum which goes deep under the layers of your skin. So as someone who deals with hyperpigmentation often, the fact that this also prevents this issue is one of the things I love most about the Goodall Vitamin C Serum. You can shop the Goodall Serum on Amazon. It'll be 40% off for the Amazon Prime Early Access Sale, which is October 11th and 12th. So I'll link it in my description box for you guys. Do not miss out on the sale because this does not happen often. Next up, I'm going in with this eye serum from Osea. I like this because it comes with a roller ball specifically and it almost helps to like deep puff your under eyes, so I love that. And then I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer. This one's from Ole Henriksen. So this contains peptides and collagen. It's perfect for firm skin and it also helps to reduce wrinkles. I know I don't have any wrinkles, but prevention is the best cure. And now for perfume, let me tell you guys about this perfume, <laughs> which has quickly become like my absolute fave. So I'm a sweet musk type of girl. My other favorite perfume is Vanilla Woods, and this smells kind of similar to it, but almost better. Like, this smells so good. So it's from Sniff. I've actually never had any product from that brand, but like I said, I received some PR from them, and I wore this, and I was like, wait, wait a minute. This smells too good. So anyways, we're doing hair now. So like I told you guys, one part of my hair got kind of poofy. I didn't have a shower cap on, like terrible mistake. But anyways, so I decided to kind of just go through, quick pass through my hair. I split this side in like four sections and I just went, did one pass on each section. The other side of my hair was like mostly straight. So I just did like a quick, even quicker pass through for my other side. I don't normally do this, like I wouldn't normally just go in and put heat just come, just because my hair got a little bit puffy, but I had just gotten this look press like two days ago, so I just kind of wanted to like maintain it really quickly. And then I had almost forgotten the step, I went in with this spray deodorant and then that's pretty much it for all of my hygiene stuff. So this was a very chill day in, so I'm wearing a very like chill lounging around the house fit. So these are the Aritzia TNA boyfriend pants. The bralette is from Skims and the top is also actually from Aritzia, this fitted crop top and I love it so much. Um, and then I just kind of spent the rest of the day chilling and taking it slow. Like I said this morning, this is a very slow day, honestly, but I did complete editing a video and I also just like responded to some emails for the day. Okay, you guys, so this pretty much concludes the video for today. You guys do not forget to shop the Goodall Serum once again, which is only going to be on sale from October 11th to 12th. This is a great deal for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and click the like button. That helps me out so much with the algorithm. And it lets me know that you guys like the video so I can continue to make these types of videos. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this video, if you guys are going to get some of these products, or if you already have some of these products. And of course, if if you have not already at this point i know you have seen a couple of my videos and it's time it's time for you to subscribe anyways i'm going to see you guys in the next one